Hi, this is in my first robot project I'm putting together for my school. It was a project gleaned from the Popular Mechanics program or uh, project, Build Your First Robot. It's a double-decker robot, has uh, wheels, uh, dip switches, an uh, Arduino CPU, 9-volt battery, uh, uh, battery pack for AA batteries. This is a parts list listing where I got the parts from and how much they cost me. My total cost for the project was a little over $155 to get uh, into it. And I had a few extra parts and I think it was a fairly successful project. This is a kit you can get from Budget Robotics. It has most of the materials you'll need to get started on the uh, project and keep going. The next slide shows some servos, some jumpers, some wheels, and the CPU from Arduino. This shows a servo extension cable you'll need. There's also a power plug for the 9-volt battery. There is um, more battery connections, a speaker, and some switches you'll need to use. There's some silver bearing solder and some 22 gauge solid conductor wire. I use the 1 16th inch heat shrink tubing and then there's also a general remote, some uh, Velcro tabs and scotch uh, mounting tape that you'll need. This shows some vinyl tubing and miscellaneous supplies I picked up from Home Depot. This shows uh, the batteries that you need, AA and 9 volt. The tools I used were a small Phillips screwdriver, uh, 15, uh, 5 16 nut driver, 1 quarter inch nut driver, wire clippers, bull nose pliers, small and large needle nose pliers, a dental bick, some wire strippers, soldering iron, and then miscellaneous supplies there are tools. These are my assistants. And then in the first step, I divided this into teacher steps and student steps. The first step, you'll need to do the preparations with uh, putting leads onto your speaker and preparing some jumper clips to use. Uh, I had to solder the leads onto the piezo speaker so it would just be ready to plug in uh, when the students had their turn to go. And there's what the final project looks like. On the second step of teacher preparation, you'll need to bend out the levers on the switches uh, enough so that they'll accept the rubber tubing. You'll use about four inches of the uh, one quarter inch diameter tubing. In step three of teacher preparation, you'll need to cut a 12 inch servo extension wire into a nine inch piece and a three inch piece. The three inch piece will get wired to the AA battery box and the nine inch piece will get wired up to the switches. Uh, in addition to this, you'll need a jumper to go across the normally open or the bottom portion of the switch. And when you wire it up, that normally open portion will get wired to one of the ends of your clip. In this clip right here that's showing there, uh, it's wired wrong. I had to rewire this to get the, the open one onto one of the end uh, pins on the clip. In step four of the teacher prep, you're just going to wire up the 9 volt battery cable to the power plug and solder it so it'll be ready for the kids to use when they are ready. This is the first student step where they get to mount the servos to the servo mounts from the uh, kit that we got. You want to have your servos paired so they're the same type. And then when they mount them, they'll need to do them in a mirror image as shown here so they'll drive correctly. 
please see part two um, for the rest of this demonstration.